And a groundbreaking law in Illinois allows adoptees who are now adults to get a copy of their original birth certificate. The movement is spreading now to other states. Supporters say it is a big step toward uniting lost relatives. But as Jeff Pegues reports, critics are worried about what it could mean for birth parents who don't want to be found. There she is. Yeah. 50 years ago, Cletus Lynch found this photo in a drawer in his mother's dresser. He was 11, living with his mother in a one-bedroom apartment in Illinois, and stunned when she told him the girl in the picture was his sister. Oh, I love you. <laughs> You're real. <laughs> Lynch searched for his sister all his adult life. Barbara Mapes knew she was adopted and always felt for no particular reason that she had a brother. I think I have an older brother out there. Someday I'm gonna be walking down the street or in an airport and I'm gonna see a guy that looks like, just like me. Well, ha! <laughs> <laughs> Mapes was raised by adoptive parents 35 miles away from her brother and birth mom in Illinois. But because of privacy laws, those 35 miles might as well have been 3,500. I've always felt like, like the corner foundation piece of that puzzle has always been missing. Traditionally, in cases of adoption, birth certificates are sealed. After the adoption, a new certificate is issued with the adoptive parent's name on it. Everywhere you went, you got a brick wall, privacy rules, HIPAA rules. I mean, I had contacted the hospital. No, we can't give you the information. In 2010, the Illinois State Legislature changed the law, making it possible for adoptees over the age of 21 to get a copy of their original birth certificate. When Barbara Mapes got her 61-year-old birth certificate, she was stunned to see that she had a sibling. It was that sibling that I was interested in because I, I just felt like I had a, I, a big brother. I, don't, I never thought about sister or anything. I just thought I had a big brother out there all these years. I passed this law because I felt the pain and was approached by many other adoptees in Illinois who had no idea how to get any information. Illinois State Representative Sarah Feigenholtz wrote the bill. A lot of adoptive parents who had children who were adopted, who wanted to get medical information about the children they adopted, uh, people who wanted to reconnect to get life-saving medical information were unable to do anything. And why? Critics of the Illinois law and similar bills around the country say that sealed records protect the biological parents and that this change constitutes an invasion of privacy. Adam Pertman is the executive director of the Adoption Institute. What people are concerned about, I think, is the knock at the door. That somebody who doesn't want intrusion in their lives suddenly is going to have to have a relationship with the child they relinquished. Mapes says it's a question of her right to know the truth. I guess I'm, you know, speaking on the behalf of all the adoptees out there that we don't know anything and it just, it's an unknown factor of our lives that we feel like we need to know. For CBS This Morning, Jeff Pegues, Greenville, South Carolina. So exciting. It's beyond exciting. Yeah. <laughs> it's so lovely to see them yeah. together, you know. It is it indeed. Yeah. You know, and also to understand, as they kept saying, it's the missing piece. It's the missing piece yeah. to know who right. you're. I understand parents some parents may want some um, privacy if they were forced to give up a child for adoption, but to see a brother and sister reconnected exactly. or a sibling reconnected, I think, is incredible. And they looked a lot alike, didn't they? They do. They yeah. do. So happy to be together.